All right, welcome back again. Okay, so I've got my textures all done. I kind of like how they look. Um, this one's supposed to be stone. This is my, the bubbly one, the furry one. This one looks like it's cracking. And I loved this one that I wanted to do it with like a icy kind of blue. Um, this one I thought kind of looked like wood. And this one was like, different kind of bubbles where it's like, you know, some really big bubble texture and then some really small. And then this one was just patchy, longer fur. So now we have to cut these out to start making them become 3D. But at the bottom of every letter, you're gonna wanna add something because we're gonna add a little piece of extra paper on there so that we can fold it and make it stick up, okay? So what I'm gonna do with my pencil, because I just wanna be able to remember, or you could do it with a marker, doesn't really matter. Um, maybe I'll use marker so you guys can see it a little bit better. But just draw at the bottom of your letters, maybe like a little kind of rectangle, okay? That's gonna be where we fold our paper so that it can stand up. Okay, these are gonna be like the flaps. So I'm just drawing these on the base of each letter. So the E will want one right there. The N will have these two points that will touch. You have to think about what part of each letter, if you were writing it on lined paper, what part of the letter would hit the line, okay? And that's where you draw that little extra tab. Okay, so now I have that one and that one. Okay, so now um, no one's actually gonna see those, so they don't have to be perfect. Grab a pair of scissors and the tabs are there so that when you're cutting, you can remember just to cut that out. And I'm gonna go a little bit around my E because I want that fur in there. Okay, so. My paper is kind of, it's pretty firm kind of paper. So I'm gonna cut, go around all of this fur. I'll go back in. Where there isn't fur, I'm gonna cut right next to the, right next to the letter where, my, where I did the marker. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not gonna be perfect. I like that. Okay, so now let's see. I'll cut out this bottom of the tab. Okay, so I have my letter, right? Um, and now this is the part where you're going to bend it. So right there, you're gonna bend on the bottom of that letter E. Okay, crease it really good. And then when you glue it onto your piece of paper, you're gonna put glue right there on that tab and then it's gonna be stuck on your paper so that it can go 3D. Okay, I'm gonna work on cutting all mine out and then I'll record the last step of building our sculpture. All right, see you in a minute.